Yeah, right then, hello. Uh, uh, just a little bit of a talky one. I'm actually very busy this week, um, servicing, picking up stuff, and I'm also on a late shift, which means I'm finishing at 11 o'clock, getting home at 12, having a completely fucked up day, and then starting again, you know? One of my uh, duties is to drive down to a certain fleet, pick up uh, Volkswagen uh, crafters, Bring them back, service them, and then take them back. Luckily tonight, I don't have to take this vehicle back. I just have to pick it up, do a B service on it, which is fills and oils. Uh, a bit until I kick in, make sure everything's okay on it, you know, inspection. And then it's gonna need a uh, flywheel in the morning, yeah? Uh, before I talk about Land Rovers, I just wanna say that um, the Volkswagens actually are pretty okay fleet vans, stuff like that, uh, there's some very high mileage vehicles that we're servicing that are actually not too bad, they're alright, they haven't had major work done on them, and uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed actually. I'm uh, also impressed with uh, the LDV van, but I don't think we'll talk about that, shall we? Or do you actually want to see the LDV V80 uh, a little uh, walk around and see what it's like now? Yeah. Let me know in the comments whether you want to see that and uh, let me know in the comments your feelings about what I'm going to talk about now, okay? So yeah, Land Rover, <laughs> Land Rover brought out a new Defender, haven't they? You know, we all know about it now and it's like, oh fuck, what the hell is that? Yeah. To me, I'll tell you my personal opinions because I've got uh, half an hour's drive now. <laughs> and. Uh, I just look at it as uh, being a Gucci handbag. That is it. If they've gone, I don't know where they've gone with it. Um, to me, Land Rover already have wandered off the path of ruggedness uh, quite a while ago. Okay, they've taken the Defender out of production and brought something in that's completely ridiculous to, to me. It's my opinion. I know some people might like it. Yeah? They, some people like the D3s and the D4s and the Range Rovers and the boats and that. Well, why not? That's what they're doing now. My era of Land Rovers that I've been brought up with are Spartan vehicles that are uh, utility platforms. Okay, You will see the Land Rovers working and they've been used for decades in uh, industries where it's had a pioneering type of thing to it, okay, which is, you know, even going in the outback, yeah. They weren't the best of vehicles, but they worked. Now, Land Rover at one time even had uh, contracts to supply engines for taxis, for the uh, Freight Rover vans, which later became the LDV vans, and then they lost it all, didn't they? All fell to pieces. And, you know, it's just the way life is. Everything changes. If you look back 20 years ago, the vans, the cars that were about, if you see them on the road now and compare them with modern cars, they're not the same. They don't have the same type of power output. Uh, the emissions were terrible. Now, things have changed, in my opinion, for the better. Being a technician, I've been working on vehicles quite a long time now, and the air is cleaner, even in workshops, okay? Vehicles are more reliable. The technology's there, and it's a pain in the ass. So, looking at Richard Hammond's video, now I'm putting a, a link below him talking about it if you want to see what he said about it. He did mention that this uh, the, the Defender's got a huge amount of ECUs, yeah? Now, ECUs are okay if they're needed. Trucks, yes, they do have a comparable amount. We're talking about heavy goods vehicles here. It's required, you need PCM for running the engine, you need EBS ECUs for the brakes, okay, because uh, you need to be able to stop heavy loads pretty uh, quickly. And then, of course, you have your emissions ECUs, and you also have uh, collision control, uh, lane departure, things like that. All these ECUs, actually, some of them, uh, by regulation, have to be on the vehicle. Whether you have a big stereo or not, and a satellite system is, well, okay, that's what we're living in now, is, is we need internet connection wherever we go, we need sat-navs and everything else, so it's, it's an evolution. However, personally, 
and this is my uh, own subjective view on this, is that none of that really is a necessity to me, okay? I would like a simple vehicle, it's rugged, all right, not too field demanding, um, easy to repair, that you can get bits for, and uh, that is, yeah, like a Defender. Yeah? My favourite vehicle out of all time is the Lightway Series 3. Always had pleasant memories of uh, being in a soft top and the smells and the noise and everything else was just there. It was just there. And that will always stay with me till my dying breath. I probably will never have a lightweight. I don't know about you guys that have had them. <laughs> They're good vehicles. They're repairable. So, you look at the monocoque vehicles nowadays, they're easy to repair. They seriously are really easy to repair until you get serious problems. Transmission problems, wiring problems, or engine problems, okay? That's then cost you time and diagnostics. It's not something you can repair on the side of the road either. You need laptops and specialist laptops and software. Land Rover is not going to give that out with every vehicle, are they? Part of this, and I'm not sure whether they are uh, introducing e EBOD 3, where the vehicle will actually ring up and tell the uh, workshop what's wrong with it. Yeah. We, uh, we're seeing this on trucks now. I don't know if Land Rover's uh, put that in a vehicle, but uh, it's something that's coming, all right? We're gonna be looking at full automation of vehicles in, in what, 50 years? Driverless vehicles, maybe before then, and uh, it's working that way. So, I'm indifferent to it. I don't know how you feel about it. I know Land Rover Defender owners, especially Defender owners, the, the elite of the Land Rover world that think no other Land Rover is, is a Land Rover, even though it's got the badges it's made in the Land Rover factory. And You know, um, to me, I, I never liked that mentality. We am a Defender type of person. However, you've got to accept the fact that the company moves on, it's got to make money, that's what it's there for, make auto automotive vehicles. They've changed their lifestyle um, and the market they're aiming for. The army don't buy stuff off them, do they? Utility companies don't buy stuff off them. They don't export stuff like they used to in pioneering areas. Uh, Land Rover do actually have like a shitty reputation with some people. Some people don't actually like uh, the Land Rover Defender. And the last lot, the Puma, was a bit tight to see. I personally, it was all right did a lot of servicing on those utility vehicles now they're having troubles I mean if you've looked at the channel or some of my videos the day uh, the vehicles they had the platforms they had for cherry pickers they were good um, adaptable and they could carry the weight now they're putting the uh, <laughs> cherry pickers onto land cruisers land cruisers are breaking wheel studs off because it's too heavy they can't cope with the work and they do have issues there so, you know, one of the things. Now I did actually see a few years ago, there was a company that were looking uh, to uh, bring out a, uh, a rugged 4 before, and they were looking for enthusiasts uh, input. We all put in now a little 10 pence worth, and I heard on the radio yesterday that they will be opening up a plant, 60 million, was it 600 million pounds uh, plant in Wales to build a rugged 4x4. Now I'm going to follow this with interest. Website here, okay, the name's been chosen by people. Website's here, you can click on and, and register, follow it if you like. I have no longer any type of loyalty to the Land Rover brand. I haven't for a while, but now it's like, nah, whatever, okay, I'm not in that um, elite mark of having that sort of money to buy anything, I'd rather buy a house. Yeah. <coughs> so I'm looking at this with uh, with interest. Mr. Radcliffe said he's going to bring out something with a six cylinder diesel petrol engine. Yeah. So uh, whether it's going to be like the Defender, very simple, Spartan and rugged, I would like to see. So down in the link below, <coughs> you can go through, have a look at their website, see what you think. And I'm going to start to think about actually making some money. I wouldn't mind buying a new 
vehicle. Now, I know it sounds a bit ridiculous, um, but I've, uh, I've got my eye on LDV at the moment because they are cheap. They are cheap. The uh, gearbox is Hyundai gearbox. The suspension system is Hyundai. All it is is McPherson struts. Yeah, the engine's uh, the same as what it was in the uh, Maxus, which is uh, a VM engine, isn't it? That's not a bad engine, it's a good power plant, and it sounds like the 200 TDI. When you've got it just over tick over, I like that. Keeps up with the mod traffic, okay? And it's cheap, it's cheap. All right, it's Chinese, so what? You know, it's either got to be Chinese, German, French, hasn't it? What the fuck do we build in this country these days? Nothing. If we're going to support British industry, it's got to be good. The vehicles have got to be good. I'm not, I wouldn't buy something that was shit. We had this with British Leyland. It was okay, but they just they went fucked out, didn't they? And screwed it up for themselves. But there we are. There's my feelings on it and my thoughts and some of my ambitions, which may never come to pass. Now, what I'm curious to, to hear from uh, you guys and girls is your opinions about this this whole thing, this Land Rover um, Defender, <laughs> handbag, Gucci handbag, uh, <laughs> or this new, uh, is it called a Galant or something? I can't remember, off the top of my head. Um, this new Ford, rugged 4x4, four four. do you think it's gonna be worthwhile? Is it? If it is, are you gonna buy it? Let me know. Comments below, guys. I've still got like uh, 15 miles to go before I pick this bag up. So I could chat all day, but I think we'll leave it there for now and uh, just have a, a nice day, alright? See you later.